Hello YouTube, this is Brewmaster H coming at you with another beer review in World of Tanks video. We're going to try this a second time. We're going to review Iron Horse Chicago Common by Argus Brewery out of Chicago. This is a 6.5% ABV, um, what appears to possibly be an amber ale, but, you know, Lord only knows because it's a Chicago style, right? So overall, our aroma, caramel and raisin with a hint of biscuit. Um, our appearance... Deep gold hue with a medium off-white head. Flavor, we've got biscuits with caramel and a slightly bitter aftertaste. Our mouthfeel, this is a medium-bodied beer with a slight dryness and significant carbonation. Overall, like I said, this beer basically comes off as like an American amber-style ale. Um, I would definitely drink this again. Quite a nice little beer. And let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. All right, guys, apparently I screwed the pooch yesterday. No, I'm not talking about interspecies erotica. I'm talking about the fact that I posted a video and apparently all of the audio for the game and my commentary just went Lord only knows where. So, here we are, we're giving it a second shot. Um, apparently I should be checking my stuff and I didn't check thoroughly enough, I apologize. So, we've got a platoon we've made. We're in a tier eight match in the KV2 on Redshire. And being bottom tier, the good news is we're in a KV2. So, penetration, what's that? <laughs> I don't understand. Derp guns are awesome like that. We're gonna go to where the heavies usually go and we're gonna try to do some work over here and Hope to not get completely obliterated in, you know, two or three shots by most of these enemy heavies that we expect will be over there. I don't know if the 12 ton spotted us. I don't think so. I do have six cents on this tank, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we're still moving into position because the KV-2 is not exactly known for its speed. And still only the 12 ton spotted over here. But... He definitely spotted those guys because they have been damaged by artillery. Oh, gotta love that new stun me mechanic. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a huge fan of what they did to artillery um, and the light tanks. And this whole patch in general has been kind of weird. Um, talk about messing with matchmaker and all that stuff. So I'm going to go over here and see if I can get a shot in this T-43. It will pop back out for me. Going to pre-aim on the corner. And our other KV-2 friend is going to step in front of us, as will this T-150. Waiting. Don't sit in front of me, please. Thank you. There we go. Nice 315 damage. Got away with that. No one shot me. Too easy, right? Going to check this other corner because it was getting crowded. Oh, okay. The T-150 went over to this corner, too. Well, now... It's just a little crowded over here, just a little crazy. T-34B coming over to shoot the T-150 or the IS-2, or ISU, not sure which one it wants to do. I'm gonna see if I can get a shot. Oop, I'm spotted. I'm not gonna take that shot, but the T-34B gets me his side, and that's 911 damage. Thank you very much, T-34. I appreciate you giving me what could be potentially your weakest armor to shoot. Hilarious. Well, now we have another 20 second reload to figure out what we want to do. And I'm going to side scrape out against this OI and see if I can hit him. Oop, oop, but there's the Lorraine. I really don't want that guy to have free range of me. His gun would tear me apart in three out of those four shots and I would be dead very quickly. Fortunately, we saw he moved, so I'm going to take a shot at this OI. Oh, I got a little bit lucky there. That probably should have gone into the rock, but I have sacrificed the dissidents to Stalin. OI is now down to 296 hit points. I'm currently sitting at 1600 damage done, almost 1700. I see the T-43 is there where I shot him before. He shoots me, he's using the derp gun, and my shot just goes straight into the dirt. This Lorraine apparently doesn't want to shoot me. I don't know why, but I appreciate it. So, um, whoever you are, Supersonic, I, I want to thank you for not shooting me. That was fantastic of you. 
you know, if we can only get that guy to watch now, just so I can get my thanks out. Gonna try another shot. Unfortunately, it goes low. Thankfully, he misses. And uh, there's a KV-2 over there. I'm definitely not coming around that corner again. KV-2s have been known to one-shot other KV-2s. It's kind of a thing. You gotta hit that flat spot of the turret right below the gun. I'm reloaded. Uh, guess where I hit? <laughs> Sucker. Oh, trying to pull back. T-34 still gets a shot into me. Man, I thought more of my tank was behind that rock, but apparently not. Fortunately, I got the spotting damage on him. He's he's stunned from our artillery, and I'm going to see if I can finish him off. There it is. There's a kill. So that's two kills for me. And we've just got that Tiger P left. I'm trying to get over there and get reloaded. I could love to take a shot from him, and unfortunately I was being a little bit iffy. That He's getting hit by from all sides. Almost got him, and they get the last kill. So let's go check, it, t check out these stats. Here we go. Our score. We got an ace tanker. 31,000 credits earned, almost 2,500 XP earned, and a little bit of damage done. All right, let's see exactly how much. Well, top on our team, top on any team by tw by damage done with 2,600 damage done, 1,223 base XP. Talk about a good game for me. Being bottom tier and carrying so hard on the damage. Uh, you know, I only got two kills. I think it was yeah, yeah, two kills, but not too shabby. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I, you know, had to take a little bit of extra time out to remake it because apparently I screwed up. So I apologize for that. Uh, you know, but hey, all's for the best, right? So out of the seven shots fired, I did miss those two shots at that T-43. Derped them right into the ground. Didn't fully aim them. You know, just relying on Stalin a little bit too much. Um, I did damage four vehicles, I did 202 assistance damage, but I didn't travel very far, and I made 23,000 credits profit. Overall, quite a nice little game. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.